Hi, welcome back to my channel, my third video. Um, just want to quickly say thank you to all my new subscribers and uh, for all the lovely comments, um, all positive and uh, and really helpful. So thanks again for that. That's right. So today, where I was going to go, the cows are there. So that's that for a wheel. while until they've gone. I'm going to keep my eye out, uh, but I'm going to go to the sheep field instead. Uh, it's all same, some flat pasture, nice. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. I've had silver out of two out of three of the fields. So um, fingers crossed we get something good. I'll see you at the first hole. Check that view out. <laughs> I mean, of all the places to come and spend a few hours, it's got to be up there, hasn't it? Um, this one, I just wrestled with it. It was it was quite shallow, but the, because the ground is so dry, it's really hard to sort of get things out of the, the root bit there. And it was, after all that, 10p spend all there. This was coming up as an 18 on the equinox and just a little buckle of some sort. Yeah. On we go. And the next target was coming up at 28. And it's this. Uh, it's not a button. Uh, it's quite big for a penny. I'm going to give it a little um, clean up and see if I can get any details off it. Yeah, it's like a little buckle, but one of those two prong ones. Um, I'll get it cleaned up and uh, show you at the roundup. I apologise for the wind noise. Um, I'm doing this on my phone. I had to keep lying my detector on the floor because it just keeps falling down. Um, but listen, I've had a peek at this, so I think I know what it is. And I'm pretty excited. That is another little love token. It's the second one I found. I love finding these. Um... It's actually a similar size to the other one, which people said to me was William the Third. Oh, that's really nice. I will take some pictures of that um, at the end. Oh, yeah, I found one of these just in a field um, nearby. So there was obviously lots of uh, loved up farmers back in the day <laughs> so this was um a solid 12 on the equinox it took me ages to find because look at the size of it i think i don't know i don't know if it's silver or not it might be part of a ring pull to be honest i've had quite a few out of this field <laughs> but yeah on to the next the next signal is in here i can see it And it looks, looks like a little whistle. Okay, so this was a solid 18 and I can see, hang on. It looks like, huh, no, or maybe. nails I should have gloves on. Nice, I'll get that cleaned up and we'll have a look at the end. Hi guys, so that was a pretty nice hunt. Do you know what? It was really nice just to be out in the sun for a change. Um, I love it around here, even if I don't find anything, it's just lovely to be out here. It's a real special place, um, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate to because pretty much anywhere in the country is just, you know, my preferable place to hang out. Anyway, I'll see you at the roundup. So here's my roundup. Um, the buckles, whistle, 
pistol ball and possibly the bit that they cut the ball off. I don't know if it is or not. It was just, it was quite close by. Um, this is um, of a pipe and I've managed to get the date from the hallmarks, which is 1906. It's got a little love token. Um, a little sliver of silver. I don't know if it's silver or not, um, but it's quite heavy. Um, what else we got? Just some toasted old copper coins, really. Um, but yeah, no, I'm happy with that. <laughs> some, some silver. It's not often I get silver these days. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.